Hey, so what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and I've been requested to make this video a few times, and I've been wanting to, actually, but because of some technical difficulties, I was actually not able to make this video for the longest time, but now I got this figured out, and I'm actually gonna share that with you all as well here too, but I'm gonna be showing you all how you can connect a VPN to your console, whether this be an Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, Wii, Wii U, anything like that. So, uh, there's going to be a few ways of doing it. So, first off, why the hell would you want a VPN and what is a VPN? Well, a VPN is a virtual private network and what that does is it will allow you to pretty much change your location and your IP address uh, and then you will pretty much be able to hide your traffic like what exactly you're doing from your internet service provider. Now the reason why you might want to do this on a console is so just in case you know if you don't want to give out your legitimate IP like your actual IP when you're playing an online game, when you're in parties, anything like that. Uh, and also also at the same time if you have a restriction on your internet connection. One restriction on my internet connection, the one I'm using right now, is that I cannot use parties on Xbox One unless I use a VPN because it is just blocked on my connection for whatever reason. Uh, so that's why I use the VPN on here. Uh, but there's a multitude of different reasons why you'd want to use it. So first off, what you're going to need is you're going to need a VPN. I don't advise using a free one. Reason being is that honestly, they suck. When it comes to VPNs, you really get what you pay for. Now, I've used uh, private internet access, which is $40 a year, and I've used pure VPN, which I'm using right here, and this is $50 a year, or you can, if you get the little discount, they normally give you like a 10% off discount, you could pay $45. I picked pure VPN because it seems to be a bit more versatile and the speed seemed to be better than private internet access, uh, but both of them are good VPNs. It just depends on what you want. So first off, you need a VPN. Second, you need to decide on what setup you're going to be using. So I'm actually gonna have a picture on screen right now, and uh, what most people do is they take their console and they hook it up to a laptop and uh, they just hook it up wired and then what they do is they connect to their wireless connection using the laptop and they bridge it that is one way you could do it but I don't like you doing that because then you use wireless and it there's issues and all the other stuff so it just it will slow down your connection will be less reliable uh, so what I did was I actually ended up purchasing a USB to Ethernet adapter so that way if you look on screen uh, pretty much what I do is I have the actual internet going into the Ethernet port on my laptop and then I have the console going to the Ethernet to USB port out of the USB port on my laptop. So I stay wired on there. Uh, but most people, you know, if you don't have that, you only have one. Just connect your console to the onboard Ethernet port that you have and then just connect wirelessly to your wireless connection. It won't be as good, but I mean, it gets the job done. Uh, so once you have those two, I'm going to show you what to do. So this right here, this is a little bit ambiguous. And the reason why it's ambiguous is because there's a multitude of different VPNs and VPN services and how you hook up. But first off, everything should be on your VPN service. Just look up, for example, Pure VPN. You could look up Pure VPN, uh, how to connect to Xbox 360, Xbox One, anything like that. And any questions you'll have, support will be available for if you paid for a good VPN. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to get your VPN, you want to get it set up, and you want to connect. As you can see, I'm connected right here. Now you want to go over to your network connections. This is of course on Windows. So right here you should have something and this is a WAN mini port. Uh, you're going to have, you know, some other Ethernet devices like I have right here. And then you're going to have this, which is different than the other ones because this is your actual VPN setup. Uh, what you need is if you don't have this, you want to look up for your VPN how to set up PPTP or L2TP. And those are two different types of encryptions. Uh, PPTP works on Xbox Live. L2TP works on PlayStation Network. So keep that in mind. I've been told you can use L2TP on Xbox. I haven't tried it personally, but it's worth a shot. But those are the two I guarantee work on each network. So what you want to do is you want to have this VPN itself set up in Windows. Then you want to find all your ports. So you have your VPN right here. This right here is my actual internet. So this is my internet port. That is what is going out to the real world, whatever it is. And this right here I named USB Ethernet because this is going to be what I'm connecting my console to. So this is what you want to do. You want to go over to your VPN right here, right click, go to properties, 
And then you want to go over to sharing. You want to click allow other network users to click connect through this, hit OK. And then you want to go and bring this drop down arrow and pick the connection that you want to share to. So I'm going to share my VPN to USB Ethernet because that's what I'm going to connect my console to. After that, you can go ahead and hit OK, hit OK on that. And once this disappears, it's a little bit slow because I'm using OBS right here. But this is going to change and it's going to say that it is shared. And if this isn't working on the first go, what you could do is just disconnect your VPN and reconnect it and it should work. Now what you want to do is go ahead for safe measure, just disconnect reconnect your VPN and then connect to your console while it is off and turn on your console and we're going to go over to our console and you will set it up from there. All right, now what you want to do on whatever system you are using first, you want to go ahead, connect online with your system and see if you can connect. Now, if you are getting errors that prevent you from getting an IP or you can't find a DHCP server or you can't get online, you can't connect, Try rerunning the tests a few times, try restarting your system, including your computer that you're on as well. If you still can't get on, specifically if you cannot find an IP or you're getting a, an error related to a DHCP server, this is the fix that I have found. What you want to do is you want to go to your DNS settings on whatever system you're using and you want to use an alternate DNS. So there's two that I can recommend, OpenDNS and Google DNS. It just depends on whatever you preference. Now I'm going to link them on screen and down below in the description and what you want to do is you want to put in the first set of numbers for your primary DNS and the second set of numbers for your secondary DNS on your console these are both free to use you're not gonna get banned for them or anything like that it's okay to use a VPN online mostly as long as you're in the same location and the DNS servers these are known public DNS servers they're okay and if you weren't allowed to use them the features wouldn't be there in the first place on the stock firmware but once you do that, you can go ahead, try restarting your system, try restarting your connection. But most of the time I've noticed if you cannot connect online using your VPN, change your DNS settings and you'll be able to connect after that. Anyways, that should be it. So hopefully this tutorial helped you all out. As I said, really the hardest thing about this is selecting a VPN. But aside from that, you should be able to get up and running within a few minutes. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching everyone. It's much appreciated and I hope this tutorial helped you stay safe.